Good afternoon and welcome. It's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast here in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with a, another crazy idea, but we'll see how it goes. So welcome and thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I would be very, very grateful for that. Thank you. So I'm going to try a, um, basically I will be doing the Dutch pour, hopefully, but I'm doing it with the Bloom, the Boom gel stain because you use very little paint in this and it seems to blow out beautifully and you get a lovely lacing with it. So I'm gonna try just using this. I'm not gonna water it down or anything. I'm gonna use it straight from the bottle because, um, uh, because, because I am, and that's what it's, why because. So I'm going to do um, some different colors, which I'll explain as I go along. Just the Boom Boost, the, the Boom Gel Stain, which there is a link below to the supplier in Australia, um, is a pre-made paint and you don't have to do anything to it to get the Bloom effect. I have added a bit of the Boom Booster, um, which is silicon based, just to a couple of colors that I've got in these little containers pre-made but the rest of it I'm going to work with just directly from the bottle I'm not going to do anything with it and I'm going to see if I can blow it out so that will be interesting another interesting thing is these canvases look at this so you can put them all to I can I probably will put them all together like this when I come to blow push them all together but then they all separate so i suppose you could just use one and work on one i'm not sure well you would no I'm, I'm not saying i'm not sure you can do anything you choose to do whatever you please anything goes and remember what i've said before is the only rule is there's no rules so what i intend doing is too navy and too white so i will without further ado I'm just thinking if I blow, <laughs> I'm going to have to be very careful, aren't I? Unless I keep... See how we go. This was pre-made up in the... And this was just a really watered down version. So I might pull them apart just so I can see if I've got the right consistency. Seems okay. I'm not sure... Uh, where's my spatula? Yeah, I think I'll just spread it out. I'll just spread this out. Probably, well, I don't think it's too watery. It's just such a, um, a real art to get in the right consistency of the paint when you're going to blow it out. It has to be quite thin uh, and it's kind of... Yeah, very hard for me because I keep thinking, oh no, can't be that thin, it's going to lose all its, the paint's going to lose its integrity, but doesn't seem to, so I'll, I think I'm going to keep the whole one side of it the blue and then the other side of it the white. So, and that's probably easier, isn't it? Let's just do it. So yeah, these were a cool little find I hadn't seen these for a while I had seen them um, at some time and then they seem to disappear these shaped canvases so I was happy to find them again just just for something different isn't it and they would look pretty cool on the wall I'm sure now I'm just thinking when I blow these am I going to blow the white over the blue and the blue over the white but I guess it doesn't really matter I can see already that I'm not sure. Look if the paint has got a wax on it. The paint, paint, uh, the canvas. Look, the paint is peeling away from the canvas already. That's not good. Look, that's strange. Okay, not had that one happen before. So it seems like there might be like a waxy thing on the canvas. That's very strange, but I'll just go with it and see. I mean, 
obviously if the paint doesn't stick to these particular canvas that's a bit of a they'll be going <laughs> I'll be sending the manufacturer a complaint hey because you know you have canvases and you expect your paint to stick to them not not to roll off like that's doing so it doesn't say on the canvas that they're only meant for oil or something so I'll just go with it no problem just see how we go I'm going to kind of push, push them closer together now it doesn't really matter if one blows on the other I suppose it'll all work out fine in the end oh I've got some got some glitter on here I was like using these sequiny glitter and now like it looks like mermaid scales and it's picking it up because you know if you work with glitter it gets into absolutely everything I can't understand why that's happening just mostly on that one that is weird not never ever had that happen before so that is pretty strange okay let's just get this going Right, rightio, she says, she says. Now, do I put the stuff in the middle and blow out? Do I blow over? Where's his trousers? I think I might just try the one side first. Can you hear that thunder? We've got sort of storms happening here and it's, um, yeah, a little bit scary. But um, I'm going to my so that was a pearlescent mauve, and then that's a mana crab blue. Yeah, that was pearlescent mauve, and I'll go the pearlescent blue. Better put something jazzy in this one, and I'll go the pearlescent watermelon. I want to just do one side to see if I can actually get this to work um, and then I'll just put some white in there I'm gonna see what we get now I will just put some of this this is just the white with a bit of that boom booster now that boom booster is not supposed to have silicon in it it's um, it's alcohol based so I'm going to just try that one side first before I go any further to see if this is actually going to work for me. Now I'm not using my hair dryer because, because I want to try this. I'm just going to use my, it's the heat embossing gun. So it has got a little bit of blow but you have to get closer. And I'm just, it, it's not as fierce as the hair dryer. So I'm going to just try it. So bear with me guys. See how I go. It's not going to do it. It's not moving it. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Okay, that's not working. Now for the big guy. Let's see what I do with the dryer. I'll probably get it everywhere. I'm not having a good paint day, I can tell you. Try the big guy. No, it's not working. No, no, no. Holy dooly, what am I doing? That is not going to work. The paint is just too thick. I thought that it would still blow out because I just had a go on a smaller canvas and it worked. But um, I'll just see what I can get out of this one side now. Just 
covering the canvas now. That is actually quite nice. I mean, it's completely not what I was looking for, but the paint is too thick to blow. But I didn't want it to actually blow far like you would do in a Dutch pour. I just wanted it to blow a little bit over the other side, but it certainly has only blown a little bit over the other side. But I like that effect. I do like that effect. So, but the thing is, this canvas is going in holes. There must be some kind of wax on the canvas. So that's a bit weird. But I actually do like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna push on with this. Let me, let's just push on with it, I say. Just keep pushing it. Go in the pearlescent teal. So I'll just push on with it, see what I get. Look, it's only paint and if it doesn't uh, come something that's really not that's not acceptable then I will just scrape it um, I'm not gonna stress over it at all so just go with the flow and I'm gonna help me let's see what I can get I will just use the dryer again just realized that is gorgeous that is gorgeous I didn't put any of the boom cell booster on that side but it actually looks gorgeous the colors are so vibrant I just might put a bit into but that is gorgeous because the colors in these boom booster a uh, boom set boom cell stain boom gel stain our oh, flipping floppers i can't get nothing out today is really highly pigmented Let's give it a go i'll go back the other way oh look at that that's crackers Look at this. I've, what I've realised, this would be really good to do like a, a frothy, like if you're doing a waves um, art. <laughs> I actually quite like it. I'm going to push on with it. Ah, it's all good. I actually really like it. I, I need to do some touching up of the bits and bobs, but the colours are beautiful. So you know what, just go with the flow. I'm gonna turn it around because it's easier to blow that way, I believe. I love it, I do, I really love it. So I'll just slide these aside. You can see that I need a bit of work on the edges, which is absolutely fine. I don't want it to Oh, that would be interesting. See, I've got some negative space, little bit of negative space, but the colours, oh, pop your socks, pop your socks. So what do I go on the other side? Something completely different, maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see, just pour some more white, can never have enough. <laughs> I can always blow it off, blow it off. Oh, I'm having a crazy day here talking to myself, aren't I? Give this a go. Well, I've got a gooby bit there. Get off, get off, get off. Okay. Do I try some greens? I think I'm going to make this a tester and I'm going to go on this side, the greens. Blow some up there. I'm going to blow some down there. This is 
Ecolector screen, Ecolector screen, and I'm going to put the native purple in with it. And down this way. They don't, they're not going to be four canvases that go together, but you know, who cares? Who cares? I just want to see what I can get out of these. It was just a completely different way of using these particular paints because they are made, pre-made paints to make a bloom effect um, that you don't have to add anything to. And also they're um, brilliant for uh, staining timbers and things. So they've got multiple purposes. They're not just for this. I actually love those colours and the way that I love it. That's very nice. But I'm just going to go with it. Let's see if I can get it everywhere like I did. I never added any of the boom booster but not that it seems to need I'm going to try the black in this one might put a little bit a bit through there rises Holy dooly. Oh my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> oh, crazy lady. I love it. I love it. Oh, completely different sides. I know I'm a crazy person, but I'm so glad I did. Doing. No, I just need to finish the edges off. Well, that's completely two different looks. I know they do not go together, but who cares? Oh my goodness, I'm just so happy that I tried it. I was just doing something completely different with what I've got, and I love it. Now I want to blow some more colour up there because I'm just... Oh, I can't leave the negative space, but the colours are so intense and so vibrant. Absolutely love it. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to do anything with that. That is gorgeous. So I mean, yeah, I could do the one whole side this or the one whole side that. No, I love it. Something different. I haven't got anything that looks like that. I don't think that is super duper. Absolutely flipping love it so vibrant the colors just pop your socks off and some really cool things happening in this so many ideas now for the different effects i can use in other things i'm gonna leave it at that people thank you so much for joining the crazy lady um hope you enjoyed that and let me know what you think <laughs> um be kind but i i just love it and in the end it's what you it's what gives you joy so remember it's your art room your rules your way and i just absolutely love that love it oh, it's got such cool effects okay until tomorrow i'm here every single day with videos for you so please join me and until tomorrow bye for now